All right, day two, CES. This time we're at the convention center, the main convention center. So this will be more of the big stuff. So we'll check out cars and ERs and TVs and all that kind of stuff. Let's check it out. All right, this is LG and they have a smart door. Oh, and there's an Amazon Echo built into the door. Side of the, the smart door over here. Okay. Or let's say I'm trying to leave this house. It's basically remind me of the umbrella, cell phone, every single items that I can forget. Or it will tell me the weather information, traffic information, and then the calendar for reminding purposes. Plus, outside, I can press this intercom button. Will show what is happening. Okay. If I want to speak to this gentleman over here. I can click this connect button. Then I can speak with the people outside. It will show all devices in my house, which is connected in. So this is a, a smart mirror in a door uh, that does all the things you would think a smart mirror would do. I think the cool part there was the video from the outside. I haven't seen that on very many smart mirrors. So that was different. That was cool. Okay. Thank you. All right, they're putting flexible displays on things like purses. They made a whole tree out of flexible displays. This one is like paper thin, like the wind is blowing it. I think we'll see a lot of stuff with these kind of displays built in pretty soon. And they're not just for bendable phones, which is good. I'm not sure the usefulness of a bendable phone myself. But a hat with a display on it, that's useful. All right, this is Neon, and they're making displays of fake people, and they're supposed to be able to interact. So you talk to them, they talk back, you ask them questions, they answer. All right, so we are Neon. We are launching artificial humans, um, and we are training them to respond and react in real time, just like humans do. Okay, so yes. what can they do? What can they do? So they'll be able to respond and react, and they'll be able to, say, empathize with you or celebrate with you. Or even they'll be able to, um, you'll be able to put them in customer service jobs. They start off as real people, then we regenerate them in the computer, so we're never cloning anyone. What's this information that's down here? What's that tell um, us? This is our core three technology um, at a glance, kind of showing you how we, how she moves, how she reacts and responds. This is how all the, the codes and stuff. That's that the processing that's going on. I can think of a lot of science fiction movies that start with something like this and end badly for the humans. <laughs> All right, this is the Segway 9 bot. And if it looks like the thing from Wally, that's because that's what it is. <laughs> okay, just the seat. Oh, okay. Okay. And it is only two wheels. The third wheel's up off the ground. And he's driving with his hand. Not quite autonomous yet. <laughs> that guy is so nervous that he's gonna crash. Oh boy! Oh, <laughs> okay. They're they're regretting letting people demonstrate this. <laughs> Look at how the wheel is moving to do the center of gravity. It's sliding back and forth. Yeah. yeah. This poor dude is sweating. <laughs> he's trying to keep people from crashing all day long. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Very cool. All right, I'm getting one of those too. Okay, Skyworth, new TV company. Not that they're doing anything anybody else isn't, but look how thin that TV is. That is crazy. That is crazy, and it looks amazing. Phew. They've taken these fans. They're fans that do uh, a hologram because they've got LEDs on them and they spin and they light up at the right time, the right colors and stuff. But they've put a whole bunch of them together and made this huge holographic display, which looks amazing. I mean, it is fantastic. 
What's over here? We got a sleeping dragon. I mean, look at that. It probably doesn't look nearly as good to you as it does to me, but I don't know. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Hypervision. All right, this is the future, boys and girls. This is the Tesla suit. Surprised they got away with that name, but they did. It is a haptic suit for VR. And it's got, it's full of TENS electrodes to zap you all through the shirt, the pants, the arms, the legs, even the top of the feet. It also has biometrics, so it can know your heart rate, your temperature, whether you're sweating, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and then uh, it also has position sensors. So it's got position sensors all over the suit to tell the VR system where every part of your body is. With the TENS electrodes everywhere, they can like inhibit your movement. So if you're trying to lift your leg, they can activate the electrodes on the backside of your leg and tighten the muscle that needs to be loose for you to take a step forward. So <laughs> pretty amazing. Well, right now, if you're looking to get one for yourself, there are only $13,000, <laughs> but they do say that they want to have it to market consumer level at $1,500. They hope in the next year, but if it was the next three or four years, I'd be pretty happy about that. So if you read the book, Ready Player One, not the movie, the movie sucked, but if you read the book, Ready Player One, the guy who's uh, telling us about this says it's Ready Player One and then some, because it gives you the biometrics and the positioning data, as well as all those electrodes to zap the crap out of you. <laughs> all right, that's it. Uh, that was a good time, saw some cool things. Some pretty cool VR stuff, that haptic suit, I, I gotta get me one of those. Uh, but overall, good day, I'm tired. Now we're heading over to the meetup uh, and hopefully we'll get to see some people there. That's all for now, as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, adios. If you need help or wanna chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. If you like what I'm doing and you wanna support me, you can use my special product links in the video description, or head over to Patreon, or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.